If there's one thing in my life that's missing It's the time that I spend alone Sailing on the cool and bright clear waters There's lots of your friendly people one of the first items we do when planning a solo passage, or any passage for that matter, is to organize a to-do list. The list will include items such as safety, maintenance, route planning, weather planning, provisioning, watch schedule, and also anticipating what can go wrong out there and the solutions we need to take. You must know the boat and her systems in case of an emergency. Do a schematic of all through hulls, seacocks, bilge pumps, etc in case you need to troubleshoot a problem real quick. The total nautical miles as I have planned and routed is 165 miles and I would anticipate a 36 hour non-stop sail into Boston Harbor. For this trip you will see I am heading offshore outside of Provincetown and not going through the Cape Cod Canal which would be the typical route for most cruises. I have five waypoints of the first leg of the trip. I will come out of Nantucket Harbor and bang a right at Green 15 to avoid the rips, fishermen, and shoals off of Monomoy Island and head due east through Great Shoal Channel to waypoint number 5. Here is the actual chart and you can see the shoals in light blue at Monomoy Island that I want to avoid. The next leg of my trip will be waypoint number 5 to waypoint number 6 keeping Provincetown off my port about 5 miles. I would anticipate being at this waypoint around 9 a.m. or for you nautical types, 0900. Again, you can see on the chart the shoals and rips off of Monomoy Island that I want to avoid heading to waypoint number 6. The last leg of the trip will take me through Stellwagen Bank and to waypoint number 7 and 8 and into Boston Harbor. I would anticipate an 11 p.m. arrival time right off of their island. Let's talk winds now. We have to plan for winds and currents, but let's talk winds now. You'll see what I have coming for winds out of Nantucket Harbor and through the first leg of the trip. Anything with a blue color means less than 10 knots. Green, less than 15 knots. Yellow, orange, less than 20 knots. And red, less than 25 knots. Anything with a deep purple means we're over 25 knots. You can now see over a 12-hour period how the winds change in direction and in strength. Now let's take a look at the winds at Provincetown and as I approach Boston and Boston Harbor. And finally the winds once I enter the inner harbor at Boston. Okay I just got back from shopping and what you see there is what I will eat um, over the next couple of days. Uh, I will prepare everything before I leave, so either I just need to add milk or I just need to uh, take a sandwich out and eat it. Um, so everything will be made before I leave. Uh, pistachios are good. If you're kind of feeling tired, you just have to eat them and you're kind of keeping your body going. And Peanuts, obviously, uh, my weak point. Uh, if I need any uh, power bars, just want to grab something quick, I can do it. So. Uh, this will take me through till Friday. Okay, it's um, I've done my food shopping, I've done all that stuff, so I can now check that off my list. <clears throat> um, I've come up with my emergency ports if I need to head into land. Um, so I have those. Uh, and again, I will be heading um, in, in, out into Nantucket Sound out to the waters uh, from P-Town to Chatham to Monomoy. Uh, I'll stay east of Stellwagen Bank into Mass Bay and into Boston Harbor. So uh, those are the waters. I have my emergency ports in case I need to turn in somewhere. So I can check that off the list. Still need to do my engine check. I ran the engines for about 15 minutes just to heat up the oil a little bit, so I'll do that. Uh, just a couple more things on um, safety. Uh, I always reef down one at night so if, uh, if I should have no reefs in the sail um, I will come down to one all the time at night. Um, <coughs> and if I should have one reef in I'll come down to two reefs. I don't want to have to get up at night and uh, 
go up on deck and uh, have any of those issues. So I always reef at night, um, one reef minimum. Uh, sometimes I'll go to two or three depending on the wind. So uh, I'm not racing, so this will be um, a safety part. Uh, I've got my AIS and my radar collision alarms on for set for two miles. My binoculars, VHF, lifelines, life preserver. Um, I do not have my life raft on this uh, trip uh, because it is basically coastal cruising. And I took it off for the Newport boat show and I haven't put it back. So, But I will uh, <clears throat> use the dinghy if need be in place of the life raft. Uh, remember, if the boat's going down, you always step up, so there should be plenty of time to deploy the Zodiac. <clears throat> but the tender is ready um, to go if need be, so I can check that off the list. I've taken all the items down in the boat uh, that would fall or tip over during transit. Um, so other than up here in the galley right now, everything has been put away or, and or taken down so it doesn't fall if we do hit um, rough weather. <clears throat> um, all the cabinets are locked. Uh, now emptied all the toilets so they're now dry. Um, I will, once I get three miles up, I'll open them up and um, get rid of the waste and I'll keep them until I get within three miles of Boston Harbor again. So. Um, My water tank, I've kind of drained a little bit to a little less than half just to get some weight down. My fuel, I'm about three quarters of a tank, actually about a half a tank of fuel. Uh, but one of the reasons I'm doing this alone and um, I want to sail the whole thing. So other than uh, outside Boston Harbor and getting out to Nantucket uh, Sound, I will be under full sail. <coughs> Uh, as I said on the naps, um, I will set it up for 15 minute naps on my cell phone and I will stay up here if I feel I need to take a nap. I'll do probably most of the naps during the day when I feel just a little more comfortable being able to see the surroundings um, along with the electronics. I have all the alarms on between my cell phone, uh, collision on the radar and on AIS. I've gone over the weather now with NOAA, Marine, uh, my sail flow, weather, uh, wind conditions. Um, I've reviewed all the tides, <clears throat> so I have everything set there. I do have my schedule all set. Um, I have uh, at certain points at 9 o'clock or at 7 o'clock I'll have a uh, east to south wind at 1 a.m. I'll have a uh, south wind at 7 a.m. I'll have so I've gone through for the next 48 hours listing all the winds that would be anticipated. I've also list, listed all the areas where I believe I will be. Um, midnight I should be out past the point here. Uh, 7 a.m. I hope to be off of Monomoy. Uh, 7 p.m. I hope to be off of P-Town and then heading into Boston Harbor. So everything really can be checked off my list now. Uh, follow weather gear, pants, hats, all that stuff is all set. Uh, all my safety gear is now in a basket and I'll move that out on deck before I leave. So uh, I'm in pretty good shape at this point. Uh, just a few extra things to do. Um, I do want to check the oil in the engines and um, just uh, start to put stuff away and hook the power. Uh, start to untie the lines a little bit, and uh, I will say um, my goodbye to the Antarctic boat basin. And other than that, I'll see you in a couple hours. As I said, it is about 2 o'clock now on Wednesday, so hope to be out. Uh, I actually hope to take a nap before departing, so uh, that should do it. See you in a bit. I'll show you real quick um, how I just do my sandwiches. Um, I don't put any mayo on it, it kind of makes it soggy while um, underway and by the time you pull out the third one it's kind of gross. So what I have here is turkey, some Swiss cheese, some just romaine lettuce and all I'll do is fold it just like a uh, burrito nice and tight 
just like this. Easy to use. Um, I use the uh, the wraps for everything, whether it's going to be, I uh, will make peanut butter sandwiches, but makes it easy to eat. Put it in a container, as you can see. Put a lid on it. And then I'll throw it in the refrigerator. And when I want something to eat, I'll just come down, pull it out, eat. Okay, I'll show you one of the peanut butter ones. <clears throat> I love peanut butter. Um, you can just take a spoonful of it and put it in your mouth. Um, put it on any. You, you can put it. It's like bacon. You can put it on anything, and it tastes good. So um, sometimes instead of the turkey, I'll change it up and just go to peanut butter. Plus, it's more fun making peanut butter roll-ups. So or wraps. fun making the wraps. It acts as um, almost like glue. Just fold it. And because these are really small, what I'll do is I'll uh, make two of these and put them in a container. So, uh, the X marks the spot. And there everything is. The sandwiches, the cereal, and snacks. Take a quick, hopefully two hour nap. And then we'll get up and um, start to get going. So, yes, it's bright, but once I put this over my head, pitch black. Good night. If there's one thing in my life that's missing, it's the time that I spend alone. Sailing on the cool and bright clear water. 